Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Bauke from PH Data, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a measures table in Power BI. Before we get started, you might be wondering, what is a measures table? Well, a measures table is a table in our model that houses all of our created measures. The measures table doesn't contain any actual data, so it acts more as a folder for our measures. So now let's start to create our measures table. First, in order to create our measures table, we must first click the Enter Data button that is available on the Home tab of Power BI Desktop. This is going to let us enter data that we've either copied and pasted or we can manually enter in here by typing on our keyboard. But in order to create a measures table, we don't actually want to enter in any data. So in order to get around this, we're going to rename our column one, and we're just going to call this measures. And for our table name, I'm going to name it measures table. Now you can see that this is one column with no data, and that's exactly how we want it for right now. And I did name it measures table so that we can determine that this is the table that will be housing all of our measures. So now I'm going to click the load button. You're going to see that this table with one blank column is going to load into our data model on the right hand side. And you can see it here. When I expand this, you're going to be able to see the one column that we left blank in here named measures. In order to make this a measures table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new measure. And I'm just going to create a, an example measure for the sake of this example. So I'm just going to call my measure sum of sales. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum the sales field in our orders table. I'm going to click my check mark. And you can see that my sum of sales measure shows in my measures table. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my original blank field measures. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click delete from model. Now what this is going to do, I'm going to click OK. Now what this is going to do is Power BI desktop is now going to recognize that the only thing that is within this new table is a measure. And so you can actually see that Power BI defaults to show this little calculator icon next to the word measures table. So now what we can do is we can add the remainder of our measures here in this measures table to make it a little bit easier to navigate around our data model. Now in this example, we only have five tables in the model. That's not too bad. But a lot of times when you get into far more complex data models, it can be helpful to house all your measures that you've calculated in one place so you're not scrolling endlessly through different tables. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, there's a lot more content just like this on PH Data's blog and YouTube channel. Take care.